start printing now. Why not? Ugh, what are you doing? All right, that's not how this works. Extractir. Hey. <laughs> that really hurts when I'm editing. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Eddie, when you're editing. And also, don't move the mic. It turns out that really hurts. <laughs> Oh, really? Like the this. Of it? Yeah, that like it like ah, oh, it feels like my eardrums are gonna pop. Is this like really quiet or something? Ooh, it's artsy right off the bat. Can we hear it? Okay. I can hear. Is it got? Ooh, it's like playing some Portis head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire. These dreams will pass me by. The salvation I desire. It's not quite working. Keeps getting us down. And I need to. Recognize mistakes. It works. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, Addie here. My good friend Jaleesa. Also here. We're getting, um, we're going through the the games from this uh, itch.io bundle for racial justice and equality. Um, uh, just trying out games from the list. There's like 1,200 games in there. Um, we're going to do all of them. Well, we're not going to do all of them, but we're going back and forth choosing which like ones that we want to play, one of the other of us want to play. So this is one of the ones that I wanted to play. Um, I think it's kind of, I mean, the, the name implies it's kind of like maybe a dating sim type thing. I actually have a series that I'm planning where I'm going to download like as many dating sims, like indie dating sims from itch.io as I can and just try them out because I am in constant desperate search for the world's only good dating sim. I have not yet found a dating sim that I can really stand behind. And I don't think such a thing exists. I believe in the possibility. I, someday I will make a good dating sim, but I need inspiration, you know? I need to see what works and what doesn't, mostly what doesn't, apparently. Um, so there's lots of languages. Okay, let's get into actually playing this game. Um, uh, start game, load game. Well, obviously this is can't. Oh, right. Okay. Um, I did. This has been on my wish list on S Switch for a while on the Nintendo Store. So I, at one point, knew something about it. But at this point, I've forgotten almost everything. I can use the space bar, I guess, to navigate this. Ugh, my head, my stomach. I feel like crap. Last night. Oh, I can't do this. <laughs> what happened? Drink. Lots of drink happened. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What's that noise? No, that was the game. Oh. <laughs> oh that was my phone. <laughs> <laughs> my phone! Where is my phone? Okay, so I'm waking up super hungover with some limited animation. Impressive. Um. Oh, it's not supposed to click this. I was waiting for it to focus. Got it. Shut up, phone. Those teas are Mate, what the hell happened to you last night? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Your phone's at 0%. Zero? No, it's at 1%. Gary, what does he want? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was out with Gary last night. He doesn't sound too happy with me, though. Should I respond? I mean, I would. I'm just going to play as myself. <laughs> I have no idea, but I've woken up with a bangin' hangover. I feel like bangin's a good thing, <laughs> yeah. usually. <laughs> hangover rocks. Yeah, a bangin' hangover. Uh, you? 5%. It says 1% in the corner. <laughs> this is inconsistent. <laughs> Crap, my phone is about to die. I better plug it in before the battery runs out. Oh, where's my phone charger? That's not it. Wait, so am I not searching for it this time? My phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait. I can see again. This isn't my bedside table. Ooh. This isn't even my room. Where am I? My clothes, they're all over the floor, am I? I'm completely naked. Oh That's a condom. Erm. Whoa, who is she? Am I in her bed? Did, did we hook up? Now, my impression was that I was playing as a girl, so is this a gay game? Is this a gay game? Is it? 
Or am I playing as a boy? And I didn't know that. There's a condom that. on the floor, so you, you gotta be the boy, right? Well, I mean, I've had gay sex. True. Where you use a condom to, like, For the dildo. as a dental dam. Yeah. Dildo. Oh, you could do that too. Yeah. I I don't know. Some people just. Like, I would rather like get a dildo you could you properly never, clean and wouldn't need be a too condom. Careful. Sure. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> totally. I was thinking dental dam. You know, you cut yeah. up on a condom and yeah. Although, man, that is not easy. Uh, yeah. It's hard to hold it in place. Unless you have like a really big condom, I guess. I just feel like I wouldn't be in the headspace to do that sort of multitasking. <laughs> I hope this is her room. But who mm-hmm. is she? Dude, you bailed on me. I gave up a date to go drinking with you and you wander off after one round. What the hell? So he calls him mate, and then he calls him dude. Those Inc- teeth bother system. me. Oh, yeah? Why? Because they're too close to the eyes? Yeah. Some, that's just bad kerning. It's not the T's fault. Gary ditched his date, and I ditched him? Shit. Did I really leave after one round of drinks? I can't remember. I think I'm playing as a guy because he's saying dude and stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know that sometimes girls are called dude. I call girls dude, but still. Hmm, if Gary knew about the situation I was in, he might be able to laugh it off or at least give me some information at least. Should I tell Gary about this girl? Yeah. Of course. Be honest with your friends. Always. Mate, I'm really sorry about what happened last night. No, I just woken up in some girl's bed. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Hopefully Gary could shed some light on this situation. Mm-hmm. Ha, bullshit. You're crap at pulling, mate. What? I, I think it is British or something. Yeah. Pulling, like pulling a pulling a bird. Yeah. Yeah. What? No, like pulling girls. Birds are girls. Oh. I'm being British. Oh, I didn't know. (laughs) You're going to need a better excuse than that. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence, Gary. Man, this girl sure has a back and no other body parts. (laughs) Shit, I can't remember anything that happened last night. It's such a blur. Leaving Gary seems to ring a bell, but I don't even know who this girl lying next to me is. And where the heck am I? This is going to be so awkward when she wakes up. This hangover is not helping. His phone's gonna die. Well, if Gary's not going to take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture. It would definitely shut him up. No! What should I do? Don't! Don't take a photo. That's gross. I'm not going to stoop to that. Gary can think whatever the hell he wants. There you go. Ah, uh, shit. My phone died anyway. I wonder if, if you had chosen, like, yeah, I'm going to take a sneaky pic, would your phone have died anyway to prevent you from doing the immoral thing? I kind of presume it would. Yeah. And I'm still no closer to finding out what happened last night. What should I do now? <laughs> go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, what day of the week is it? This is, right. this is pertinent information. Do I have to be at work? Because if I can go back to sleep, I'm going to go back to sleep. Right. Guess I'll just kick back and wait for this whole thing to blow over. There you go. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> I can use some more sleep anyway. I can't sleep now. Oh, I missed the dialogue. Arg, what the? Uh-oh. <laughs> I've been attacked by a gremlin. <laughs> She's gone. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. I wonder if she wants me to leave. I'm not gonna go home. Oh, there's a phone. This is my. Cl- I mean, I should probably put on my. Can I put on the condom? <laughs> it's a condom. Well, the wrapper at least. Seems we had some sense last night. At least that's one mystery wrapped up. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna put on my clothes. <laughs> just gonna go around. I'm gonna check this mysterious note. This flyer looks like it's seen better days. Paradox Monday Madness, free entry. Paradox Monday Madness. This was Tuesday? Is this the bar we went to last night? I vaguely remember being in a nightclub last night. It must have been here, but I wonder what happened to Gary. Yeah, I guess it's Tuesday. Maybe we should have gone away. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh, this is a photo. That's not me. (laughs) It's her very young dad. (laughs) Is this the girl, the one I woke up next to? She looks young. I hope this is an old photo. I wonder who the guy, (laughs) creepy. Yeah. They seem close. This photo seems to mean a lot to her anyway. Maybe I should ask her about it. She just has a framed picture of her. Wait, are you going and asking her about it? Is this rotoscoped? Damn. Oh, hey. Urk, what should I say? Are you okay? Yeah, there you go. I'm not going to say, are you okay? Why? Because that assumes that she's not. Like, why would I say that? But what if she's not? I don't want to, like, step into this interaction being like, hey, whatever we did was clearly horrible. Well, no. No, just say, hey, keep it casual. She might remember more than we do, you know? Yeah. Sorry for dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the bed covers. Sorry, I woke up feeling pretty dodgy and had to dash to the bathroom. 
I see. Is everything okay? Um, I don't want to go into it. Oh, right. Have you been awake long? The animation's fascinating. Yeah. Not really. I was woken up by my phone buzzing. Ah, I wonder what that was. It woke me up too. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. How, what do you mean you wonder what that was? It's a phone buzzing. <laughs> what else does that sound like? Ugh, this is uncomfortable. Think of something to talk about. I'm not going to ask about the photo. Yeah. No, I am going to ask about the photo. Really? Because I'm fucking curious. <laughs> That's a nice photo you have there. Oh, you mean the one by the mirror? Yeah, the one with the guy still beside you. So obvious. I wonder who he is. Her dad. There you her go. Very young dad. Clearly. It's her very young dad. I'm going to ask that. Is he your dad? <laughs> he had her when he was four. Yeah, I met my dad in college. <laughs> um, nope. That's actually my big brother. Huh, he looks a lot older. Yeah, he's quite a bit older than me. Despite our age gap, he has always been a cool bro. <laughs> This is, this is, in my opinion, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But in my opinion, this is like the hallmark of like media about siblings written by people who don't themselves have siblings. Yeah. Nobody says bro or sis. It's so cringy to me. Yeah, I just refer to my sister as sister. Yeah, you know. Sister. Like, sister. yeah. <laughs> or if I'm talking to them, like some dumb nickname, you know? Yeah. I'm sure he'll get a kick out of being confused for my dad. Uh, she was oddly pleased. <laughs> nah, unfortunately for him, you're not the first to assume that. Maybe I should have asked her something more relevant. But what? This hall feels awkward as hell. Why? It doesn't have to feel awkward. I don't think it has to feel awkward. No. I feel like this is like, clearly you got in the situation from some sort of flirtation. Just mutual keep, attraction. Keep on flirting. It's like, it's like permission to flirt. <laughs> Ask about the time hangover her her i feel like i should know more about her but to directly ask i don't think she'd be too happy with me or nice apartment you have here oh thanks i share it with my flatmates dun 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 pancakes <laughs> jeez what's up you don't look so good are you feeling okay it's just a hangover don't worry about it. Well, I'm not surprised you'd already had quite a few drinks before i met you last night quite a few drinks didn't gary say i only had one round I'm gonna get myself a coffee. Do you want anything? Painkillers, coffee, nothing. Sure, I'll take coffee. I've never had it in real life. A coffee would help me shake this hangover. Is that okay? Is that a real thing? I don't think so, but... Sure, I'll go put the kettle on. I hope you don't mind. Instant. How do you take it? White. The white? I guess with cream? Okay, so I've never had coffee, but Jaleesa here works at a cafe. Mm -hmm. What is white coffee? So technically, white coffee is coffee made from unroasted coffee beans, if I'm not mistaken. And it doesn't taste anything like coffee. But if she's talking about instant coffee, there's no way she's making instant white coffee. So I'm assuming If you're talking about how much milk you're adding, if it's white, that's not coffee anymore. Yeah. That's milk. <laughs> maybe, right? Maybe this is fancy yeah, way of Just saying, have some milk. Just like a drop. <laughs> just a drop of coffee in my milk, please. Like that, like that cocktail that Catwoman, Halle Berry Catwoman <laughs> orders. Yes. Uh, I'll have it fancy, please. Mm -mm. I, I <clears throat> customarily, I always take my coffee fancy. When I'm at the cafe and I say, they say, how do you like your coffee? <laughs> Cream oh, or sugar? Fancy, fancy please. please. <laughs> a frothy, milky coffee with oh three sugars gosh. dusted with just the faintest whisper of cinnamon, please. She's gonna think it's funny. Um, no. <laughs> sure. I don't think there's any cinnamon in the cup. Okay, she's gone. I've got to try and keep it cool. I don't want her to find out. <laughs> I can't remember her. I was gonna try and make some cinnamon joke, but I couldn't think of one fast enough. Ugh, I hope I haven't weirded her out already. She seems. Oh, I get to decide? I mean, I'm gonna say weird because I would rather hang out with someone who was weird. All right. Well, she seems weird. Maybe I should try and get out of here before she returns. I'll gather my things and leave. No. No, I won't. I'm gonna look at that guitar. Guitar. That's a nice guitar! I think I still remember how to play a few chords. Should I play her guitar? Yeah! Okay, let's see here. Ouch. That doesn't sound right. No, God, stop. Tune it! <laughs> That's better? No, it isn't. I don't think it was worse. I heard a noise. Were you playing my guitar? <coughs> I just wanted to see if I could remember some chords. Well, could you not? That's my guitar. Sorry. Wow, making a great impression. No, I'm sorry. It's just that that guitar means a lot to me. I don't really let anyone play it. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> Here. It's a cup full of cinnamon. Ooh, thanks. 
I hope it's to your liking. It's great. It's fancy. Although there's much more than a faint oh whisper God. of cinnamon on here. <laughs> Are you hold a faint whisper? Faint? Did it, what's at, has anyone at the cafe ever ordered faint whispers? No. <laughs> How about careless whispers? <laughs> what's the craziest? The craziest thing anyone's ever told me was they ordered coffee and I asked them how much cream and they said as much as your skin. Like the skin tone. They wanted the coffee to look like my skin and that's how they ordered. The fuck? Yeah. That is really weird. It is. Was it, was it a white weird. person? Yes. Absolutely. I mean, I didn't really have to ask, I guess. <laughs> What if she's the lead singer of that band? What should I talk about? Yeah. Sorry again for playing your guitar. It just looked really cool. Don't worry about it. It's a recent birthday present from my bro a few months back. I fucking hate that. I'm teaching myself, so I only know how to play a few chords at the moment. Hmm, what should I ask about? The guitar again. <laughs> yeah, tell me more. What kind of guitar is it? It's a Telecaster. Quite an old one, too. Oh, her, her smile was cute. I kind of missed it, though. And it's not a cheap knockoff version, either. This one's legit. That's what okay. She said. My brother gave it to me. Say it. There we go, brother. He used to tour with band with a band loads when I was younger. This guitar has seen loads of crowds at gigs and festivals. <laughs> That's awesome. All those loads. Why did he give it up? <laughs> the band never made it big, and eventually decided to call it a day. But when he played th with that guitar, I always told him I thought he looked loads cool, so he gave it to me. He said, it's your turn to look loads cool. <laughs> Do you think he misses his guitar? Oh, loads. <laughs> he has loads of them. <laughs> it feels a bit awkward again. I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. She must know something. So, man, I should have asked about other things. Play, like, play, or, or play a song. I should have asked her to play a song. So that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was all right. You know, this is like a post-dating app. Yeah. I think I owe you my thanks. Ooh, thanks. I was feeling pretty down last night. I'd always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. A dating app? Is that how we met? But a friend of mine met his girlfriend on there, so I thought I'd give it a try. Though it took me a while to work up the courage to go through with it. Finding the right guy, getting to know him, eventually agreeing to meet, and then he doesn't even show up. Mm, happens all the time. Yeah. What an asshole. Okay, I think I can assume that the asshole she's talking about isn't me. I was there for over an hour on my own. After that, I was ready to jump into a taxi, go home, and shut myself in for days. Loads of days. But then you showed up. I'm glad you did. You saw I was down, bought me loads drink, and cheered me up. I did? Yeah, I remember you sympathizing with me a lot. You listened to me go on and on about that dating app. Douchebag. <laughs> oh, I read that wrong, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> you Thanks listened to me go on and on about that dating app. Douchebag. <laughs> She's like looking fondly to the distance. Ha ha. So thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. Hmm. So she got stood up last night, and we must have met after that. Y you think? That's what she said. Maybe I just, maybe I was just a shoulder for her to cry on. Although I did end up here. Whatever the case, it explains why I ended up abandoning Gary last night a little. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you had a good night in the end. Although I think my mate's a bit pissed with me for ditching him. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. We were just in the middle of a bar crawl. I'm sure he'll get over it. I didn't realize you were out with anyone else. Yeah, I was out with Gary. We started at this bar. His bro recommended. Man, that had better be a platonic bro. I, I don't know. In, this is clearly British, right? Mm -hmm. Like, in England, do they say bro all the time for their siblings? I don't know. I, have no I think Gary. <gasps> what if Gary? That was dude? the guy that stood me up. Gary's the uh, dude. It's nothing. It's obviously the dude. Wait, hold. Which bar? Uh oh, she's on to me. I can't remember anything. I have no idea which bar. Sure, I found that flyer, but that could be anything. Which bar did you go to with your friends? Dun dun. I mean, <laughs> come on. Very. Who wants to be a millionaire? Should I lie? I mean, like, this is my best bet, right? I'll probably. The chances are I'll be caught in a lie, but like these are aren't any better. Well, no, it's got to be could, paradox, right? Because it's the only I mean, I can say I don't remember, but that, at this point, would be the boring answer. Right. Say paradox. Wait, you can actually hear the heart beating. Do you hear that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very much Is like... that... 
It's okay. I thought it was only there when I say heartbeats. I, you know what? I'm just gonna screw around and say heartbeats bar because that is the dumbest bar name here. <laughs> oh God, think of a name. Erm, um, heartbeats bar? I've never heard of it. Yeah, because I made it up. Er, yeah. Well, you have no idea, do you? Ooh. It was a wild guess. I mean, you were toasted. Whoa! Too. What? You don't even remember the bar you were at with your friends? Ha! That's the first place you went. You mustn't remember anything then. Wait, do you even remember my name? Oh, Lord. Er, oh my God, this is humiliating. Hmm, so you don't remember anything. Er, no. Maybe I can fill you in with what I know. Please do. Why would I say no? <laughs> well, I was waiting at the bar at the Paradox Nightclub around 10 p.m. I've been waiting there for a while. I was pretty tipsy and vaguely remember you approaching me. You didn't seem too drunk. We had a round together and then got chatting. We found a secluded spot and got to know each other. Although Paradox got louder as the night went on. That's when you suggested we go elsewhere. <laughs> but things soon began to get pretty fuzzy. I don't remember much. I don't think either of us were in a good state to make decisions. Somehow we grabbed a taxi, and I guess we ended up here. Hmm. And then... I mean... <laughs> what did you think? Or what do you think? Anyway, that's all I recall. As for you and your friend, I have no idea what happened. No worries, thanks for helping me fill in some blanks. It's helped a little, but, ugh, embarrassing. She's not going to fill in her name? Oh, someone's at the front door. One minute. It's Gary! It's Bruce. There's still so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe I can find some more clues around here. The teddy bear <laughs> Ask him. Oh, I'll leave it alone. It's a teddy bear. Cute. Looks like this bear has seen better days, though. Its arm is about to fall off. I should leave it alone. An introduction to English literature, English literature in context. The rest of these look like textbooks around the same subject. I guess she's studying English literature. That's a lot of freaking textbooks. Yeah. I mean, I guess... No, I never had that many. That one looks like a shoebox. Good lord. This one? No, that one. The yellow one. It's probably a collected set. I guess she's studying English literature at college or university. There's also some DVDs, which places us in a certain time period. Yeah. <laughs> or, sorry about that. Who was at the door? Just the mailman. I ordered some books online. Huh, I wonder if she answered it dressed like that. Wow. <laughs> Maybe I should try and get to know her a little more. I should have found more things, but I guess I didn't have time to. Um, I see you've got a lot of books on English literature. Yep, I'm studying English literature. Hmm. Boring. Those are just some of my textbooks. I see. Are you enjoying your course? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. My lectures are pretty inspiring, but I'm always juggling a lot of projects. They make quite tough staying on top of it all. God, this is really as excruciating as real life. <laughs> it's fucking boring as hell. Listen, about last night. Yeah? Going out, meeting a total stranger, and bringing them here home. This isn't something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. She's never had a one-night stand before? What's wrong with her? <laughs> Have you ever done anything like this before? I mean, should I answer as myself or this character? Because I feel like this guy definitely has. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I haven't. I think the most I've done is second date was the soonest I've hooked up with someone. This isn't my first time. Oh, that's kind of worrying. Sorry, your business is your business. We took precautions anyway, so we're probably fine. I thought as much. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't want this to be typical. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up, or whilst I was out of the room. Typical English major. Yeah. <laughs> or just English person. Yeah. Whilst I was out of the room. I don't know. You were nice to me last night. But I did expect Why you to leave. Sound Amy? Because she's the queen now. <laughs> no, not really. I don't mean you still being here is a bad thing or anything. <laughs> she's happy I'm still here? I must have managed to make a good impression then, all things considered. Look, um, we didn't really get to know each other all of that well last night. Or if we did, we barely remember it. I've ranted enough about my date troubles. Um, <laughs> I've talked enough about me. I liked that animation. Yeah. Tell me about you. Huh? Tell me something about you. Um, like what? Anything. Maybe if we get to know each other a little better, this can be different. <laughs> different? Like, I don't know, not as weird. Yeah, I guess. Why is your character fighting this so much? What should I tell her about myself? Because uh, it's written by a... Th that's always how... It f that's the vibe. That's what... That's, like, that's one of the problems with dating sims, is that they always try and, like, I don't know, give the character some character mm -hmm. but like you can't right because like the choices are made up by you as the player right 
but the way that they tend to do that, and and I think this is like partially an attempt to give character to the person to the player, but also to like you know like contrive a system by which you can have options is that the the protagonists of dating sims are always really indecisive uncertain people whose inner monologue is always like i don't know what should i do is it this is it that i'm in crisis over this because you're supposed to constantly be making choices it's annoying yeah. we gotta find a way around that what should i tell her about myself my hobbies my friends my personality there you go well i guess i should start with Ugh. <laughs> she already hates me huh <laughs> sorry i'll be right back She's gone again. That was strange. She seemed okay until I opened my mouth. <laughs> I must have you. really bad breath. Yeah. This gives me a chance to make a break for it if I still want to. Like, does the game just end? I'm still totally naked. Ooh. Eyes of Embrace. It's a romance novel. Can I read it? Eyes of Embrace. The synopsis reads, Daisy Dutton escapes her humble country roots to find true love in a city. Bustling with single bachelors, but it'll take more than this country girl's charm to overcome the modern day conveniences of online dating and Tinder hookups. It even says it was a summer bestseller. It sounds fantastic. There you go. And if it's a bestseller, it's got to be good. <laughs> the bestseller was in real life. Oh, it's her wallet. Let's take her stuff. Oh, shoot. I should have looked at the pills. This must be her wallet. I really shouldn't be looking through this, but then again, this might contain some useful information about her. Driver's license, an ID card, something with her date of birth. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Should I look at her wallet? Yes. Here goes nothing. This is a membership card. Hang on. There's something else here. Her name's Louis. <laughs> Louis Morel. Uh, Manchester of University, 3rd of December, 1989. Ooh. <laughs> Dodged the <to> bullet. <laughs> she's, she's like almost the exact same age as me. Yeah. Uh, validity, 9-2011 to 6-2015. She's 26 years old. That's older than I thought. Oh, so this was made in 2016? No, it must have been 2015. That's older than I thought. This card looks super old, too. I wonder if it's legit. Whoa! Her credit card! Should I really be looking through here? Whoa! Scandalous. There's a receipt in here. Taxi receipts. Tom's taxis. Dang, $30. That's what taxis cost, dude. Tom's taxis. It's dated from today. We must have arrived in the early morning. Gee, I really can't remember any of that. I wonder who paid. Whoa! Nearly 30 quid. That was See? a pricey fare. I hope I'm not in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's 30 quid. I don't know what a squid is. Oh, her name's... Robin? Date of oh. birth, 1994? Oh, she's a liar! <laughs> she I thought it was Lewis. She's 22 years old, apparently? It's a funny-looking ID card, though. I wonder if it's legit. I use that word a lot. This is like the third well, time you've seen it. Mm, what should I believe? Clearly Robin, right? Wait, no. If somebody was going to make a fake ID, why would it be their younger one? No, you want to believe Robin because Louise is clearly the fake ID. She's making herself seem older than what she really is. Why would she do that? So she can get in the bars. I don't know. Maybe she's lying so she can go to the school. The other ID card what? looked really old compared to this one. Her name must be Robin. Maybe she's a trans girl. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of old bus tickets. Did I look at this one? I'm not touching that again. Sandbar. Buy five cocktails, get your six for free. Sandbar, huh? Looks like Robin had a few drinks here. That's everything here. Hey, are you okay? Not really. I just felt sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate last night or too much to drink. What should I do? Continue conversation. So, where were we? Ugh, sorry, I know we were about to have a chat, but I feel like crap now. I just need to get some rest. Okay. I'll quickly gather up the remainder of my belongings. Okay, I've got all my stuff. Cool. There's a bus station just down the road. What? I'm just leaving? I can't sleep with her? I just, I just wanna, you already did! I just want to have a nap! I just, I, I, I matched with somebody on Tinder today who's just like, I'm looking for nap buddies, and I'm like, hell <laughs> yes. There's a bus station just down the road from here, so you should be able to get home from there. Thanks, Robin. Whoa, you remembered my name! <laughs> yeah. Listen, I appreciate we had a nice time last night, and I am grateful for that. I just don't feel very well right now. Should I respond? I need to see you again! Ooh. Robin, I really like you. I don't want to leave here and never see you again. I'd really hate for us to end things like this. Us? There is no us. 
Look, like I've said, I did have a nice time, and I do appreciate that you didn't bail on me as soon as I woke up, as soon as you woke up, but listen, I, I'm sure some people find something deep in a one-night stand, but I, I don't. Hey, look, she's honest. I don't want it to be like this. It? P please don't take this the wrong way. It's just, we're supposed to go our separate ways, right? That's how this should go. No strings attached and all that. Let's just forget the whole thing. I thought they were going to high-five for a second. <laughs> yeah! Awesome. Yeah! And it freeze, freeze frames on the high-five and the game ends. <laughs> Robin ball. sees you to the door. The mood is awkwardly silent. You sense Robin's uncomfortable. You hope things could have worked out better. I guess it turned out she was weird, <laughs> after all. The oh, uh, Before you get the chance to say goodbye, you notice the door is already closed behind you. It upset you. You find a small amount of comfort in knowing that you at least took precautions last night. You step out on the street to make your way to the bus station. So bitter. I wonder how else that could have played out. You unlocked the ending, heading separate ways. Aw, oh, damn. I am going to have to make this a series because I thought that was kind of fun and I want to see how else it turns out. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, for now, I guess that's it. Uh, we can watch the credits, sure. Oh, not exactly watch the credits. Uh. You have finished your first playthrough of One Night Stand. By replaying the game and doing things differently, you can experience new endings. If you want to skip the dialogue in another playthrough, you can toggle this in-game. Fast-forward configurations can be found in settings. I wonder if there's one where I can get married. <laughs> okay. Um, it's the true ending. All right, well, for now, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to make you sit through more than one playthrough in a single video, but uh, but that's one nice stand, and I, I might actually play some more of that. Maybe I'll make it part of my... Well, maybe I'll make it its own series. Who knows? Maybe I'll make it a part of my uh, dating sim tryout series. Yeah. All right. That was pretty fun. Yeah, I thought that was okay. <laughs> so I, I apologize to all people of the UK for my <laughs> for my accents. Um, you know, just having fun over here. I'm not trying to be clever or anything. Um, okay. Uh, see you guys with our next game. Yeah. Whatever it is. I don't know anymore. Bye. Bye.